this is either my last or my second to last vlog that I'll be going over um, what I've learned in Microsoft Azure so far. So in the first uh, main vlog that I did, where I I think I got through parts one and two, uh, I between that that time and now I've gotten through three, four, five, and six. Uh, that's just because part one and two. Part 1, 2, and 3 are a little longer because it's kind of just breaking in some of the key concepts and then it just dives a little deeper into some of the specific stuff that's um, nice to know for 4, 5, and 6. Um, so I, I'll start off uh, with part 3, I guess. Uh, so the, the first one uh, is going through the Internet of Things. And it, uh, uh, breaks down. I, there's one thing I remember. Yeah, here it is. It's the Azure Sphere. It's kind of like a gateway between the virtual world and the physical world. So, like, for an example, I think they gave was, um, uh, like a vending machine. So, like, if you have that vending machine and it's, uh, running low on a specific product, the Azure Sphere can communicate that to a server, which then can communicate that. Uh, via some kind of interface to um, alert you or the uh, um, whoever sends you the goods to alert you that it's running low and then they'll make sure to add that to your shipment or I'll communicate that with you. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much just kind of a gateway between the virtual world and the um, uh, and the real world. Uh, that's a majority of kind of what this is. It's just introducing you to a bunch of the Internet of Things, and like it's just a bunch of different sensors and that kind of stuff. Pretty, is pretty much what it comes down to at the end. Um, like those things are used uh, for different products and that kind of stuff. This one's just more of a um, larger based one because it's through Microsoft Azure. Uh, and then, what is it? Uh, I can't remember. What was this one? Uh, best AI services. So, like, um, these are the different, what are they? These are just kind of the different bots and that kind of stuff that you use that'll, like, do things for you. Like, they'll run maintenance on things and that kind of stuff. And, like, they'll just kind of do set tasks, um, and like, uh, bot services for interactive chat experiences, so like, that's just kind of, um, it's, uh, so it's like those bots that you'll see, like, when, if you have a question, like, before they give you to an actual person, they'll give you up to a bot that'll have this set amount of, like, responses that it'll have, and you'll have a picker your response, or like, um, when you call up some, uh, a company that they want and they have to transfer you to the right department first so then um uh those are kind of like some of those basic things that probably do and then uh serverless technology is um it's uh using pretty much Azure's cloud thing so like you won't have like on-site servers you'll be using the azure uh servers and then they have a bunch of different apps inside of those um, applications, I mean, inside of those different servers that you can, not not inside the servers, there's different applications that you can use to complete any tests that you need to do. Uh, best tools. So this this one pretty much just wa walks through a bunch of different, a bunch of Microsoft Azure's tools that you can use. So like the software that we were talking about, or, I mean the applications that we were talking about and like software that we were talking about that you can use on your VMs or your um, any of Microsoft Azure's cloud services uh, best tool for configuring your Azure environment so it walks through like what your needs are for the uh, what you need for your virtual machines or any other of Microsoft Azure's things and it's just kind of um, goes to like how to set up a couple of things and that kind of stuff um monitoring services so this is like the uh there's a spot on microsoft azure's website where you can um 
see like outages and that kind of stuff and you can see all of like like just all the statistics and that kind of stuff um like so you can see like when your peak running times are or, like if or like with the what was it the that one chip that we're talking about that's the breach between the virtual world and the physical world um that kind of readouts would probably be on there uh, and yeah, and then on the next, on part four, we have protect against threats on Azure and secure network connectivity on Azure. This is, these are the um, uh, security aspects of Microsoft Azure. And then um, it gets even more into that with some of the more like technical stuff and the legal kind of things. And it'll talk to you about um, the standards that Azure has, all that kind of stuff. It's like, um, with a, between a service provider and a um, company, you have to have some kind of agreement so one doesn't overstep the other kind of. Um, so, and then it broke down, and I don't know if it was in this one or the last one where it was. It was breaking down like. Oh, it's in the last one, but um, yeah. So this that was just kind of availability as well. Um, uh, and then in part six was what I was talking about, they, um, uh, so, okay, so I'll, I'll go back to that, but, um, so this is where they, I believe this was, yeah, the TCO calculator, this is the calculator that you can use to figure out a bunch of different, uh, savings and cost and just estimating cost things, so, like, I think this one's still saved from when I did the lab, yep, and we'll just, next, yeah, so then this, it was breaking out all the different estimates and savings and all that kind of stuff. And, like, what it would save you and, like, the difference between on-premise and uh, zero cost breakdowns and what you'd be paying for. Uh, yes. So, oh, yeah, and then on the last part that I was just talking about that I said I'd go back to, it was in part six. It's the last one. The SLAs. It's, um, service level agreement. So, it, it's what... It's kind of like an agreement that a company and a service has between them, and it broke down like that there is a difference between 99.9% .9 and a 99.99% and like, it, yeah, here it is. So like, uh, if it's just 99%, you can have what you can have an entire hour down per week without your service operating, or 7.2 hours in a month, or 3.65 days in a year. Um, and they broke down that that can be a big deal if you're trying to run your company and for if every week your service is down for 1.6 hours that's a lot of time that you're not operating and then I, yeah so then it said like it's the difference between 99 percent and 99.9 percent .9 is um, the difference between an hour and 10 minutes um, yes yeah, so and it pretty much caps out at 99.9 percent because anything over that is extraordinarily hard to um, uh, maintain and everything because human response times aren't that quick and if it is, it, and if there isn't a human there, it's um, some software that's doing it via a bot. So, um, it yes, yeah, so the bots will have to upkeep everything and um, they might not be able to fix it and it super fast amount of time so it's just kind of yeah so then it breaks down here with uh I believe this is an example yeah, so it pretty much just breaks down the difference between the percentages and everything and how long your service is down for and just so like when you're picking out a plan with Azure I believe that they have different availabilities that'll go with that yes yeah, so this is that's just a quick summary of part three, four, five, and six. Uh, I have several other vlogs that I've been doing throughout the thing. Where I've physically walked through and broke down everything in the uh, labs. Uh, so you can go see those if you want to. And then that's pretty much it for the Microsoft Azure stuff that they've had uh, us do. I'll probably end up watching a few videos and that kind of stuff just to kind of prepare a little more before the exam. I believe I'm going to be taking a practice exam. Uh, and after that, this this is probably the last vlog because 
There's only so much I, more I could go over with that, and it wouldn't be an overly long video. It would probably be like one, two minutes of me just saying what I did to prepare for the exam and how the exam went. That would be about it, but I just kind of went over that anyway. Um, yeah, so that's probably it for the Microsoft Azure Vlogs.